So it's myself and Lee this afternoon. We're out here. We've trekked for about an hour and we're pretty remote. And our challenge for this afternoon is to try to catch some food because we're camping out the night and um, we didn't really bring very much to eat. We got a couple of bread rolls and some salad, but we'd really like some fish to complete the burger. So the trick is here to try and catch ourselves some fish. We're not very far out, only a couple of miles out from the coast. You can probably see it there. Lee's about to drop. I've got a 205 gram snap bait rigged up here with a fillet of herring. Lee's gonna drop this down and see if we can't get ourselves something for dinner. That's the plan anyway. All right, dropping down. Kind of drifting pretty fast, Dad. Is that some snappy some bites? Yeah, heaps of bites. Big bites. Oh. Yeah. Baited. Down she goes. Yeah, told you it's baited. All right, so we didn't get anything of that first lump. So we've trekked along, we gave it maybe 20 minutes and we've moved along to the next one. We're kind of in a race between a race with time now to get a fish before it gets dark because we want to get in and get set up in a campsite before dark, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. I've got on a black magic snapper snack on here with some small bits of squid just in the hope of catching something. And Lee's gonna stick with the big baits, see if he can't get something decent. Oh, yep. Yep. That took it on the wind up. Right. Lee's on, he's got something. Let this be dinner. That's small, you can see it already. I think it might be a little baldy. It's a little pecs and pecs. It's a little bald chin. Oh, oh no, it's a blacker. It's a black bottom. He might be sick. Is he size? He might be pretty good eating. If he's size, he's dinner. Break sea cod. These cods are like kind of like coral trouts, eh? Little break sea cod. He's pretty small, but he might do for a feed. Fish. Yeah. Yeah. I think this could. This might be a bull chin. Bull chin. All right. Lee's got something else on. This could be more more like what we're looking for. It's a bit heavier than the other one, eh? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh. Yeah, that's a much better. Fish. I think this is a baldy because of the way it's head shaking. Yeah, it is. I can see it. Oh, wow. He's... Oh, I'll be near too now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, enough of you. I got a good baldy. Oh, he's, real, he's not bad. Oh, I'll just lift. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. All right, dinner is sorted. Woohoo! Hang on, I'm still in. I'm still in. You're still in? Yeah. This is not you, whatever this is. <laughs> How's this real? <laughs> it's not sounding great, is it? There's another little break, another little break sea. Another little break sea cod. He's way too bottom. small. Cool. On the um like magic snappy snacks. Yes. Righto, so Lee's got dinner, a nice little ball chin. Plus we got that break sea as well. We got more than we need. So we're gonna cruise now. We're not gonna keep fishing because if we catch another one of these, as you can see. They get barotrauma pretty bad, even though we're around here in 15 meters of water, these guys don't release. So we're just going to stop fishing for now and head in to see where we're going to camp tonight. Yeah, all right, we're fishermen. We came across another lump. Oh, hang on. We just came across another lump and we had to have a drop. Um, we both got licenses and if we can take a fish home to eat, then we will. So we're going to have another drift and see what we can come up with. Oh, I'm getting slammed. <laughs> all right, we're on on Lee, again. Lee's on again. I think this one's a dew fish. I'm not even going to drop because we really don't need any more fish if this is a dewy and a good size. Or it's another baldy maybe. Oh no, I had that. I think it's a dew. Mm. Or is it? It's hard to tell. It's a dew fish. Yeah, he's a little dewy. He's probably a bit under. Size, I reckon. He might be just size. Oh. There. Oh. Fish. That old snap bait feeling he's got, he can go back, oh, he's he a little, and we only caught him up from... Yeah, he hasn't got any barrage for it. Wow, it's super clear in here, have a look at the bottom. 
It's really hard to see because it's kind of overcast and the sun's sort of coming down low now, but this is magnificently clear. And there's a heap of birds we're busting up just over there. So I'm gonna have a few casts and see if I can't get a kingfish on. Um, meanwhile, Lee's gonna get the drain up and give you a bit of a look around from the air and see, um, see what it looks like from the air. Spectacular, I can't believe how clear it is. We're so spoiled to have a coastline like this. some birds over here and there's a lot of splashing going on there's something busting up just over here i feel like they might be kingfish in the shallows here so we're going to zip over there and have a look cast that one oh they're tuna they're yellow fin i've seen his whole i've seen the whole fish get out of the water oh my god see the whole thing just yeah, comes out of the water definitely a tuna. what are tuna doing in here in bloody Five meters of water, not even. Big tuna, like, yeah, less than five meters of water. This is crazy right there. <laughs> I've got no place being in here, right? Nah. It's so random. Big yellow fins, oh, too. Come on, eat. Hang on a minute. I've just hooked Sami. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the 10 pound outfit. As stupid as it seems, we saw massive tuna jumping, but they just. They, oh, I just dropped it. No. Oh, no, it's still on, it's still on. He's just swimming towards you. It's not a big tuna, eh? It's not it's what in the we've... reef. Oh, he's he got has you. just reefed me big time, hasn't he? That might have been a kingfish. Oh, he's back out, he's out, he's out. I think it's a kingfish. It's not one of them tuna. So, nothing seems to want to eat. Oh, it's a skippy, is it? This is... <laughs> that skippy nearly reefed me. What's that about? Oh, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> There's like, meter long tuna and you're hooking skippy. <laughs> I know, but I feel like they're feeding on bait this, they're feeding on bait this size. And that big lure, I mean, I dropped it right in the middle of the whole commotion and it just wasn't getting touched. I feel like this is what they want to eat, but I feel like if I hook one, it's going to be chaos. <laughs> oh, as much as it's killing me, like just have a look at the conditions here. We've literally seen meter long tuna busting up. And we know there's kingfish in this area because we've caught them on um, other reefs over here in the past. It's killing me, but we want to really get to our campsite before the sun goes down. So, well, we've got to find a campsite first of all. So we're going to go, but we're going to come out back here in the morning and have another crack at it. There's home. <laughs> I'm up here spotting the bombies to make sure we can get in there safe without hitting the boat in the bottom. It gets pretty shallow. Big bluff here is where we're going to camp in front of. It's just going to protect us from, from any of the wind. Especially the Eastleys in the morning that blow in, it should protect us. Sunset's looking awesome. Fillets of baldy in there into this bag, and then we got this lightly seasoned fish mix, some beautiful crumbs. Tip them into the bag, give it a bit of shake around, and then onto the pan. Right. 
fat slab, so you got a bit of ghee on the plate to just oil it up a little bit. We cook it down the floor because if you put it up on the bait table, if you put it up on the bait table, the wind kind of gets underneath and it stays lit, but it blows the heat away from it. We've just found that cooking down on the floor, the heat just seems to work a lot better down here. Yeah. We are going to be eating burgers, so the sun's just going down. There's a few rain clouds on the horizon, eh? So far we haven't got wet today. We've been out all morning, um, not in this boat, out testing some other boats this morning, and there was rain everywhere this morning too, and we managed to not get wet. That one out there looks dirty and black, and that is definitely dropping rain over there. And there's another one to the north of us out there that also looks like it's pumping a fair bit of rain down. Anyway. Lee's, sweeping. Lee's going to be sleeping on the swag on the deck. He's going to lay out his swag down the middle here and I'm going to sleep in the cabin like last time. So if it rains, it'll be Lee that gets wet, not me. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. That looks awesome. Smells so good. Lee's got a roll. Bit of lettuce, bit of tomato. The only thing we forgot was some sauce. Normally like the perinaise. The peri-peri with the... Uh, Mayonnaise goes pretty good with fish. He sacrificed himself and his shoulder and kind of his face for the greater good of the playground, the race jump, and in fact, Jamie, I Watching BMX videos <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> Loving it. Swag sorted. What's your bed like? Oh, I haven't really set up yet, but I'm, I'm alright. I've got a dog, I've got the sleeping bag, got a pillow. You're in. Swag's on. <laughs> Swag's. All set up. Good night. It's so black outside, you can't see, can't see anything. Good morning. It was actually quite a peaceful night last night. The easterly sort of came in around eight o'clock and the water calmed right off and the boat just sort of yeah, didn't really hardly move at all, eh? it was pretty comfortable. <laughs> it made a bit of noise. <laughs> it wasn't the best sleep I've ever had, but I don't know, it was comfortable, I was warm, so that's alright. The sun's just starting to come up, as you can see. We're just going to get a few things sorted out in the boat here, crack my iced coffee, and we're going to head out to that reef where we saw the fish yesterday and see if we can't get something on. out if I can if I can find it again we just sounded over this little ledge all right drop Lee drop Lee that seems to be holding fish we're about 100 meters out if we're lucky The birds are working right where we left them yesterday. You probably won't be able to see them on the GoPro. Just dropping the trusty old boomer down here in the sand. The old boomer held us all night last night. We never budged. I had my anchor alarm set. We never moved. So I'm dropping the anchor up. We got a reverse in there a little bit on the wind. And then hopefully we can get some burly going that way. Because the wind's blowing a bit differently this morning. So hopefully we can get some burly in that direction and drag whatever's over there towards us. Check it out, it's so clear. The birds, oh, it's probably too dark, you're not going to see them. There's way more birds going off over there than there were yesterday. I haven't seen any fish, but the birds are certainly busting up, so the bait's got to be there. Just praying that those tuna are still around like they were yesterday, or if not, at least the kingfish. All right, Lee's on. That didn't take long. Into something small. On the on yeah, the but that's on the decent sized stick bait. stick bait. So whatever it is, it's got some greedy eyes. So I think I might have dropped it. Whatever it was, was hungry. I think I just dropped it. Dropped it? Yeah. Oh. I just got the snap. Oh. Come on, come on. 
as well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, he's dummy. No, go, go, go. Oh, oh you just, it, po you just it. popped him. Oh. That was a good fish. The fish are here, eh? You just oh. got to stay connected to one. That was a good fish. Sam, your stick bait's getting belted by Skippy. Look at that. Skippy smashing a stick bait. Awesome. <laughs> Not what we're after, but it'll do. Well, we've had about three, three or four really solid hits Lee's had on the stick bait, but just hasn't been able to land it except for that Skippy. But all the birds and all the bait actions moved right over there now, out of casting range, pretty much into the breakers where we can't really get in there. So we're going to start the boat up and cruise over to this other reef just over to the north of us here and have a bit of a look. Um, if not, we'll come back and we may be able to troll through there so we're still moving, but I don't want to be anchoring up in the breakers. That's just sketchy. Oh my God, there's so many birds. They're all diving here, but as usual, just out of casting range where you can't get to them. And sure enough, when you get over there, they'll all disperse and move somewhere else. The fish move pretty quick. But we'll go and have another look around and see what we can find. Oh, there. Yeah. Tell me when to cast. Oh. Well, I don't know if I can reach. There it looked like the tuna again. Oh yeah, I'm, my lure's right on there. Come on. Oh, they're at the back now. Man, they move so fast. Ah, yeah, so oh, casting into the wind. It's over there. Oh. oh. Is he sick by short? Yeah. Sick by can't even see this line. Oh. Like this is heavy, man. Let me over. This is a heavy fish. Alright. It's not running, but it's got weight. At least just hooked up on Sam's stick bait. I can't even clear this line and film at the oh. same time. It's awkward. It's, heavy. it's got weight. King, you reckon? Oh, I feel like a king would... Oh yeah, it's probably a king. Yeah, I think it's a king. I don't think it knew it was hooked. Oh. Oh. At least this easily is blowing us out, sort of away from the reef. Yeah, it's right over. You got him over the sand now. Yeah. As we drift onto another patch of reef. Oh, there he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a bow, I think. Is he a little bow? Yeah, Sambo. Oh, oh, I've dropped him. Released. Oh, well. It was only a Sambo. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool, though. He hit bloody Sam's stick bait on the surface because yeah. that was like skipping on the surface. I thought he wasn't fighting as hard as a king, hey? Nice. I was like, man, it's got weight, but he wasn't fighting very hard. Oh, we're going to move. We've been chasing birds around for the last hour and a half. They're always where we're not and when we get close to them they're in the backs of the reefs like these ones over here now they're right in the back of the break we can't get close enough because the swell's pumping in this way and the easterly's pumping out that way so we can't get our cast into where we need to get them and if we sit on this side we can't cast over the reef to get to them either just really tricky situations it sucks because we're seeing big fish jumping out of the water everywhere we just can't get to them um, because of the wind and the swell this morning. I think our best chance was yesterday afternoon, but anyway, so be it. We had our fun. We're gonna go for a bit of a cruise and see what else we can find, but this whole situation is not really working for us. I think you're safe, eh? Hey? Yeah, but it's too safe to get off. Nah, but... Can... Yeah, no, this looks steep as. 
quite murky. Yeah, not, I'm getting off without getting wet. It's not as nice as the other place. No, nah, I agree. I feel like you're not getting off without nah. getting wet. We're just exploring some new potential campsites that are protected. This one's alright, but it's not as good as our first one that we stayed at last night. Wow, how nice is this? Just chilling out, exploring new spots. Just trying to find some more anchorages that we can use overnight next time. The one where we've been anchored is pretty cool actually. It's kind of really protected from the southerly, which is our predominant wind here. But there's a few other spots along here that's usable. Look how beautiful it is. The water's so clear, not a soul around for miles. Awesome. going to check out some more bays and see if we can find some more places to camp and when I get a bit closer to home I'll let you know exactly how much fuel we used and how far we've traveled in the last couple of days so we'll go for a cruise and see what else pops up. Just to let you know, we've used 60.9 litres for 61.9 nautical miles of travelling and maximum speed 33.9, average speed of 16.4. So that's pretty good, it's pretty much a litre per nautical mile. You can't be unhappy with that for a heavy boat like this. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, a litre per nautical mile. So it's been a bit of a big trek overnight, we've had good fun. Didn't exactly set the world on fire with fish, but it wasn't about that anyway. It was more just about exploring and having a bit of a look around and seeing some new stuff. So if you like our videos, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.